Hello, today I would like to talk about what to do if you are not receiving any kind of accolades or praise from your boss. Okay, so the first thing I would say is we all like praise one way or another. It feels good. Uh, even though we may feel uncomfortable receiving it, deep down inside, somewhere in us, it feels really good to be acknowledged for the fact that you're doing a good job. But sometimes it doesn't happen. And that can be for many different reasons. It can be a management style. It can be a personality style. It can be miscommunication. It can be misunderstanding of something that maybe is supposed to be coming across as praise, but it's not really being received that way. So what can you do? The first thing you can do is you can set your own goals so you become like your own cheerleader. And if you are managing a team, you can be the cheerleader or set goals and praise and um, you can set, set uh, recognition for your team when they do achieve things. So you can set up your own system of praise. So maybe you're not receiving praise from your boss, but if you are managing a team, you can set up these like benchmarks and whenever anybody reaches one or anybody does something, you can send an email, congratulatory email, or you can like, maybe there's a certain music that you play in the office or whatever you do. Maybe they get a little, a, a coffee on their desk in the morning when they come in or like a biscuit or something like that, whatever it is that they like to have with their coffee in the morning is on their desk. So they get acknowledged. So you are kind of spreading the, um, congratulatory and praise love in your office, even though you may not be receiving it. And that can be actually very fulfilling for you. It can also create a shift in the environment that may affect positively upward. So you're doing an upward shift as well. So maybe that will change a little bit of the environment in the office. The second thing you can do is you can change your mindset, which is instead of looking for external validation for things, work on it internally. So set your own goals, achieve them. And when you achieve them, you take pride in something that you have done. Even if you have not heard it from somebody else, from your boss, you know you have achieved it, you've checked something off the list, this was a goal that you did, and so you become, again, your own self-support, so you, you feel more valued in your position. And the third thing you can do is you can ask for it, but not ask, well, you don't ever praise me or you never say anything nice about me, but you actually ask about your work so to try to get to the point of hearing good, positive feedback. So you don't approach it like, I'm never hearing this from you, but you say, you know, I would like to, I would love to get your feedback on this. I would love to know, you know, how you think I'm doing in this, this, and this. So when you do your reviews, your annual reviews, you can always ask, okay, well, I would love to give you your feedback. I would love to hear from you. I want to grow. I want to learn. I want to know what I'm doing correctly. And then maybe they don't realize that they're not giving you any feedback. They don't realize that they're not complimenting you. Maybe it's not natural for them. And then they'll realize it because you can kind of open that discussion of, oh, well, I thought that I had said that and maybe I didn't say that. And it's like, oh, you know, I would just like to, to hear the feedback when I'm doing well on things so that I can stay on course. So I know this is the direction to follow so that I know that I am doing my job correctly. So I hope this is helpful the next time you feel that you should be receiving some praise, but it's just not coming.